Hi, it's Melissa here, and today I have a layout that I've made for Artful Crafts. We're having a Christmas countdown over there, and I'm using the Chamel collection, and I've added some other bits and pieces as well. So I wanted to scrap this photo of our oldest daughter, Azaria, and every year I love to take photos of my children decorating the tree, and I just love that they don't really know that I'm taking the photo. They're so busy in what they're doing. And we make it a big deal. We try to get the tree out on the 1st of December. My daughter has actually been asking me today if we can put it up. But I want to stick with tradition and wait. So I knew that I wanted to feature some of these beautiful papers. And this one with the printed text on it is lovely. It's got lots of different Christmassy words and phrases. And the A side of the paper has the Christmas presents all in a row. And if you would have looked on the Artful Crafts blog on Monday, I shared a layout where I used some of those presents and I cut them apart. So here I'm just wanting to use that um, branding strip. And I love the tone of red that's in this collection. And I'm just putting that at the top. And it just provides some way for your eyes to, um, to stop, really, when you're looking at the layout. Because otherwise, it was incredibly sort of three quarters bottom heavy and nothing at the top. So I'll build on that later as I go along. So here I'm cutting apart the cut apart sheet and I wanted to use the Merriam Bright. And of course the colour's perfect with the strip that I've put at the top. This is a little Christmas tree that it's a cut file and I got it, I got it from the cut shop and I really wanted to use it but I couldn't make it work so I'm going to definitely use it on another layout. So here I've got this paper now and I wanted a strip and I needed to break up the um, text paper and just the white cardstock background. So that's what I'm doing here and it's actually a technique that I learned years ago from Chanel in one of her classes. So now I'm thinking about where to put my photo and I wanted to feature some more paper and I love this one with the wreaths on it. And once I get going, you won't see any of the wreaths in whole, but you'll know that they're there. So I just, um, I was trying not to think too hard about this. I just knew that I wanted a piece. I needed something that would go above that green strip that I've put down, green and white strip. And I thought this paper was perfect because it is a bit more busy. And so it's a good contrast to the text paper. So now I'm wanting to work in a gold doily. These are from Studio Calico. I've had them in my stash. A friend gave them to me. And they're quite an intense gold. I think I've talked about this before on one of my videos. But sometimes I find that more intense gold harder to work with. But it does go really well with the colours and tones of the collection. And in case I haven't said already, this collection by Chanel is called Christmas Magic. And I don't have any of the embellishments, but you can get them in the shop. And all the icons that she uses are quite vintage. And I think they're quite reminiscent of her childhood. She's a similar age to me, so they actually mean quite a lot to me as well. So if you go back to my blog post, I think it was Monday, that I posted on Monday. I posted a link to a video that Chamel posted on her blog and on her YouTube channel and in it she shares the entire collection and I love it because she designed this collection, she is a scrapbooker and she is so passionate about the products that she has designed and so I really do recommend that you go back through Artful Crafts blog and find that post and do have a look at the video. So here I've realised that this doily is a bit too intense and I found that because I've glued it with double-sided tape and because the doily has quite a sheen to it it's easy just to pull it up carefully and it's a very thick doily too it's um I'd say it's actually been made for scrapbooking a lot of the doilies that I usually use are for more cake decorating and they're a lot thinner and I like the thinner doilies too because they add a different texture than just double-sided paper double-sided paper than just um double-sided patterned paper which is a lot thicker so this is a tag and I'm not sure where it's from. Liz gives us an embellishment pack 
of all bits and pieces and it was in there. It could be a Kaiser Craft one, so I liked that it um, provided a bit of interest at the top. It has got snowflakes on it, but they're not overwhelming and, um, you know, in New Zealand we don't have white Christmas, obviously, and there's a lot of Christmas product that has snowflakes on it. And I generally don't use those kind of products in a full-on way on my Christmas layout. So I don't mind that it has a little bit of snowflake on it. It's really not the main feature of this page, which to me is the photo. So for my title, I've used some older thickets and the glitter, gold glitter. I think they're a Maggie Holmes one, and I liked it because it just said memories, and it was the perfect title for this page because it's more kind of reflective. Um, type, um, page in my journaling just says that I love taking photos of my kids and of her decorating the tree. So there's a little red bow with white dots on it and that's also from the embellishment pack and um, this red of the embellishments is different to the darker red on, in the collection but I like the contrast that it provides. So that's a little, I guess I'd call it a bauble decoration and it's a button and I've just adhered it with blue dots. And now I'm, got it, I'm getting this little reindeer and adhering him or her down with glue dots as well. And now I'm adding my journaling. And I thought that that line across the top was perfect. And it does broken up by the tag, but I quite like that. And I'm just adding her name there. And later on I'll add the date. I have to look it up on my computer. So at this point I thought I was done and I as always added my Heidi Swap Gold Colour Shine. But then I found this little tree, it's the same, um, I don't know what the brand is, but it's the same make as Little Reindeer and thought it looked really really cute at the top but it needed something else to to break it up and add a little bit more up there and so this gold doily, this part that I cut off the other doily was perfect and because these doilies are very special you can't just go and buy them I mean they came in a studio calico kit and my friend who doesn't like gold gave them to me so um, I don't like to waste anything and I just like the way it looks at the top there and I've just adhered it with double sided tape again and then I'll be adding this little tree and there I think I'm just going through the pack of goodies that I've got from Liz and I still had some of the Holly Jolly collection from Kaisercraft left over and I love these word and phrase stickers and I think the black provides a really good contrast with all the other colours that are going on and I love the way it just pops against all the colours. So I've just, um, you'll see me in a sec, I'll go through and pull out a few more and it really does give the page a little bit more. So I've still got quite a lot left there and I'll definitely be using them in this Christmas countdown. So over the next few weeks we've got different crafty um, items, projects being featured on the blog. So do make sure you follow along every day and see what the other girls in the design team are making. Here I'm adding a little um, bit of green and I just punched that out with a tab punch that I have and I'll put the year which was 2014, so last year, last year's Christmas. And I'm just popping it up with some dimensional adhesive. And so aside from that I just need to trim off the excess of that doily and some other little bits that are hanging over the edge. And that pretty much completes my layout. So yeah, I'm really happy with how this one turned out. And I hope you enjoyed watching my process and hearing my thoughts on it. I've just got some close-ups to finish up. So I'll be back again soon for Artful Crafts and thank you so much for watching.